Welcome back to the Data Professor YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Chenin Nata Senamad, and I'm an Associate Professor of Bioinformatics. On this YouTube channel, we cover about data science concepts and practical tutorials. So if you're into this type of content, please consider subscribing. Okay, so this is yet another tips and tricks video on how you can get the most out of your Google Colab. Particularly, we will be looking at how you can run the native R environment right inside your Google Colab. So if you are already an R user or if you are a Python user but would also like to try out R, and so you could do it at the comfort of the Google Colab. So nothing to install. It's very simple and I will be showing you in just a moment. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do now is head over to the GitHub of the Data Professor and click on the code repository. And then click on the Python. Scroll down and click on Google Colab R Notebook. And right click on the raw link. Save link as. And then save it into your home folder. Okay, and you can also do that right inside the Colab as well. So go to Colab, click on the GitHub tab, search for Data Professor, hit on Enter, and then find the notebook. Google Colab R Notebook. Click on that, and in just a moment, it will load up. Okay, it's right here. So this is a native R environment. So nothing to install. No import of the rpy2 package in Python, so it's just plain R, okay? So if you would like to run this on your own Google Colab, you can click on this link. And notice that at the bottom, it will say create equal to true and language equal to R, okay? So that will create a new instance of the R environment right inside your Google Colab. And it will be a plain empty notebook. And you can start populating it with R code. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's try by installing the caret package. And, it, and when we run it for the first time, it will ask us for confirmation. So click on run anyway. And in just a moment, the Google Cloud engine will be loaded. It's currently connecting. Okay, now it's connected and it's installing the caret package. And it will be installing the dependencies. And so today we're going to be running a previous R code. And this will require the installation of two packages, the caret package and the ML bench. Okay, so the caret package will allow us to do machine learning. And the ML bench will contain the data set that we need. So because caret is a big package, it will take quite some time. Okay, so that took about two to three minutes for installation. And let's install the ML bench. This should be fairly quick. All right, so let's try importing the caret package. Now let's try ggplot2. And we will try importing the ML bench. All right, it all works. So how many CPU cores are there in the Google Colab for us to use? And when we run this using the parallel library and detect core, it will detect that there are two CPU cores. And what about we determine which R version are we using right now? And just type in version. Okay, and currently we're using version 3.6.3 .3, and it is the version from 29th of February. So it's quite a new version here. All right, so this is the building a linear regression model code right inside our language. And it's from a previous YouTube video of this YouTube channel. And the code is available on the GitHub of Data Professor. And so it will be a linear regression model of the Boston housing data set. And so you can also run this block of code here. And in just a moment, you will see the code running and it plots the scatter plot. All right, so the code works. Okay, so it ran the chunk of code right here. So what if we want to have the R code right inside the different cells of the Jupyter Notebook, similar to what we do when we're using the Python language. And so we could do that. And here, we're using the text box and the code, we're using the code box. Okay, so it's exactly the same way how we would normally run the Python code, but only different thing is that the code is in R language. Okay, so this is totally markdown language in the text box and the code is right here. So let's do it step by step, loading the library, 
loading the data set, displaying the head part of the data set, the first couple of rows, okay, and then check to see whether there is any missing data. And set the seat number for reproducibility, and then perform the data split, build the training model, apply the model for prediction, and plotting the scatter plot of the training set actual value versus predicted value, and the scatter plot of the testing set actual value versus predicted value. And so you have already seen that you can run the native R right inside the Google Colab. So as a reminder, if you would like to try this on your own Google Colab account, just click on this link, use R on Google Colab, and it will spawn a new notebook. So it's going to be an empty notebook, and you could just put in the R code inside here. So that's loading in the ggplot2 package. Okay, and so it works. So now you can conveniently use both R and Python right inside your Google Colab. And you could share your Jupyter Notebook to your friends by clicking on the share link. And so now you can harness the power of Google Colab, not only for your Python projects, but also for your R project as well. Okay, so as always, to expand your knowledge of data science, to learn data science is to do data science. And so please enjoy the journey. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.